So you're probably wondering what the difference is between a prime lens and a zoom lens. Now in this video, we're gonna show you the exact differences and the main reasons why you would go for this one over this one or vice versa. Let's go. So a prime lens is a fixed focal length lens that does not zoom in or zoom out, but by doing that, what it allows you to get a wider apertures down to the f1.8 numbers, 1.4, 1.2, even fixed f2s in some occasion, and you can even get wider than that as well. So they allow you to produce better depth of field, sharper images at their focal length, but also the better low light performance as well for those really dark situations. And that's the number one reason why people will go for a prime lens. If you want a low light performing capable lens that's pin sharp, can get you down to the nice depth of fields, the prime lens has got the distinct advantage. So zoom lenses give you something a little bit more different to the prime lenses in the sense that you essentially get a zoom. The 70 to 200 f2.8 is one of my absolute favorite zoom lenses in that respect. The main benefits of a zoom lens is that you don't have to change your lenses. So with prime lenses, if you wanted to switch from an 85 to a 35 and you only had one camera, you'd have to physically take the lens off and put another one on. But this one, you can zoom it in and out accordingly. Um, depending on the focal length of your lens. But you also still get nice wide apertures as well in a lot of respects. If you buy an f2.8 or an f4 fixed zoom lens, then that allows you to have low light performing capability as well. Perhaps not as much as a prime lens, but the distinct advantage of this is versatility over absolutely anything else at all. If you're in a very busy situation, I've done a lot of concerts where I can't get to my bag in time to be able to switch lenses. I will carry two zoom lenses instead of carrying two primes because it just makes my life easier and again time is money right so the distinct advantage of zoom lenses is when you're especially when you're starting out they're a lot cheaper there are a lot more options available in terms of zoom lenses as well so in terms of value for money they're an absolute no-brainer when it comes to building your kit over time you can then add in prime lenses later on but you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck with these types of things so, would you go for a prime or a zoom? The choice is really down to you. I personally prefer a prime lens because you get sharper results from them. You also get the wider apertures and I love shooting in low light all the time. It's part of my main job. I shoot a lot of corporate stuff, a lot of concerts. I'm in the dark often. So they're really, really beneficial for that. A zoom, however, gives you that flexibility. So you don't have to keep running back and forth to your bag or changing lenses in the middle of the rain or in a chaotic environment. So that gives you a lot more distinct options um, in terms of the types of photography that you can do with them. That's the difference between primes and zooms for photography and also same applies for videography as well. And if you haven't gone already, um, you know, like, subscribe, do all that stuff as well. You know, it's only a video on primes and zooms, not gonna matter to me.